Alpine class. I hope you all had a really lovely long bank holiday weekend. Um, the weather was amazing, particularly on Friday and Saturday, so I hope you spent some time out in the sunshine enjoying yourselves. Um, at the end of last week, we got halfway through chapter six, all about Mr. Victor Hazel. So I'm going to continue and we'll finish the second half of chapter six in today's story time. So, all in all, you can see why it gave my father a certain pleasure to poach Mr. Victor Hazel's pheasants. That night, we put the raisins into soak. The next day was poaching day, and don't think my father didn't know it. From the moment he got out of his bunk in the morning, the excitement began to build up inside him. It was a Saturday, so I was home from school, and we spent most of the day in the workshop, decarbonising the cylinders of Mr Pratchett's Austin 7. It was a great little car, built in 1933, a tiny miracle of a machine that still ran as sweetly as ever, even though it was now more than 40 years old. My father said that these Austin 7s, better known in their time as baby Austins, were the first successful mini cars ever made. Mr Pratchett, who owned a turkey farm near Aylesbury, was as proud of it as one could be, and he always brought it to us for repair. Working together, we released the valve springs and drew out the valves. We unscrewed the cylinder head nuts and lifted off the head itself. Then we began scraping the carbon from the inside of the head and from the tops of the pistons. I want to be away by six o'clock, my father said. Then I will get to the wood exactly at twilight. Why at twilight, I asked. Because at twilight, everything inside the wood becomes veiled and shady. You can see to move around, but it's not easy for someone else to see you. And when danger threatens, you can always hide in the shadows, which are darker than a wolf's mouth. Why don't you wait till it gets really dark, I asked. Then you wouldn't be seen at all. You wouldn't catch anything if you did that, he said. When night comes on, all the pheasants fly up into the trees to roost. Pheasants are just like other birds. They never sleep on the ground. Twilight, my father added, begins about 7.30 this week. And it's at least an hour and a half's walk to the wood. So I must not leave here later than six o'clock. Are you going to use the sticky hat, or will it be the horse hair stopper? I asked. Sticky hat, he said. I'm very fond of sticky hat. And when will you be back? About ten o'clock, he said. Ten thirty at the latest. I promise I'll be back by ten thirty. You're quite sure you don't mind being left alone? Quite sure, I said. But you will be all right, won't you, Dad? Don't you worry about me, he said, putting his arm around my shoulders and giving me a hug. But you said there wasn't a man in your dad's village that didn't get, up, didn't get a bit shot up by the keepers sooner or later. Ah, my father said. Yes, I did say that, didn't I? But in those days, there were lots more keepers up in the woods than there are now. There were keepers behind almost every tree. How many are there now in Hazel's Wood? Not too many, he said. Not too many at all. As the day wore on, I could see my father getting more and more impatient and excited. By five o'clock, we'd finished work on the baby Austin and together we ran her up and down the road to test her out. At 5.30, we had an early dinner of sausages and bacon, but my father hardly ate anything at all. At six o'clock precisely, he kissed me goodbye and said, Promise not to wait up for me, Danny. Put yourself to bed at eight and go to sleep, right? He set off down the road, and I stood on the platform of the caravan, watching him go. I loved the way he moved. He had that long, loping stride all countrymen have who are used to covering great distances on foot. He was wearing an old navy blue sweater and an even older cap on his head. He turned and waved to me. I waved back. Then he disappeared round a bend in the road. And that's it, I'm afraid. That's the end of chapter six. 
Um, tomorrow we will start chapter seven, which is called The Baby Austin. Have a lovely evening.